Hello folks, my name is Mohammad Mizbahuddin and I am e-education provider of medical coding and I am teaching you about the certification called Certified Professional Coder. In this video you will learn about musculoskeletal systems, application devices on various types of fractures. So let's start. So these are different types of fractures. This is a transfer fracture, oblique spiral comminuted, segmental, avulsed, impacted, torus, green stick. So, based on different types of fracture, the physician will perform application of devices. So, these are the devices like uh, K-wire, stem and pin, cranial tongue. The physician will implant these devices on defected area or fracture sites of patient so how the k wire is installed or inserted into the defected area or fracture site of patient usually k wire is implanted on elbow and small joints like fingers toes now how the procedure happens the physician will Prep drap and anesthetize the patient, drill this wire into the defected area, then he will check the proper alignment through radiological images. Now, how the steam and pin is inserted or drilled into the defected area or fracture site. After prepping and anesthetizing the patient, the physician will insert this pin or drive this pin through a small incision from one end to the other end then after that the physician will attach or affixes the placeholder to hold the pin the physician will confirm the proper alignment of bones through radiological images next is cranial tone implantation how this procedure is performed basically this performed on the treatment of cervical spine fractures dislocations or spinal cord injuries the patient is prepped and anesthetized in the supine position the physician will insert threaded pins on both sides of the head simultaneously then a spring loaded mechanism is added to the pin or attached to that pin then after that the physician will add weights or hang the weights at regular intervals from 5 to 10 pounds or the physician will increase weights from 5 to 10 pounds at 10 to 20 minutes intervals and the physician obtains x-rays after each application of traction and he continues the process until the dislocated or fractured bones come into proper alignment. Now what is skeletal traction? Weights are attached or hang to a pin, wire or screw in previously placed fracture bone or defected area so the bone can be pulled into the correct position. You also need to know what is computer assisted adjustment spatial frame. Before that what is spatial frame? This frame consists of two rings and six rods. These rods are called struts. How this procedure happens? The physician will obtain radiological images and upload these into the designing software and there he will plan to fix the spatial frame on the defected site or fractured site of the patient. After planning, the physician will implement accordingly on the patient's defected area or fracture site and there are few more devices the physician will apply based on the patient's condition basically what is cranial hollow this cranial hollow is applied to the patient who are suffering from cervical spine injury and in the picture you can see there is a cranial thin hollow means this uh, thin hollow is uh, applied to the children's 
or the patients who are suffering from congenital disorders like abnormal skull shape, hydrocephalus or osteogenesis imperfecta means the bones can be broken easily. How the physician perform this procedure? The after prepping and anesthetizing the patient, the physician will secure this hollow ring on the patient's head by tightening the pins, six or more pins, diagonally. Then to make it more stabilization, the physician attaches vest to the patient's body. After attaining satisfactory hollow device position, the physician will confirm the alignment of bones on radiological images. Moreover, based on defect or fracture site, the physician will also apply external fixation systems like uniplane or multiplane. The keywords to identify what kind of uh, external fixation system did the physician apply to the patient's defect area or fracture sites are if the physician is fixing one plane with wires or pins by making similar small incisions then it is uniplane if the physician is fixing more than one plane then it is multiplane external fixation system to assign the accurate codes Coder need to identify what type of device did the physician apply to the patient's defected area or fracture site. He need to identify is it hollow application or uniplane external fixation system or multiplane external fixation system. He also need to identify anatomical site where the device is fixed. Apart from this, coder also need to identify whether the physician fixed wires, pins or any other frames. And the final guideline is, coder need to also identify what type of device did the physician remove. Let's see CPD book for codes. 20650 Description of this code is insertion of wire or pin with application of skeletal traction including removal if the physician is inserting wire or drilling the pin at the defected area or fracture site with application of skeletal traction then you can assign the code 20650 remember removal procedure is bundled in this same code after healing the patient will come for the removal of those wire or pin then that removal procedure is not billable so it is bundled in this single code 20650 and if the physician is applying cranial tones on the patient's head then you can assign 20660 the procedure I have explained you in the previous picture so if the physician is applying hollow on skull then you can assign the code 20661 if the physician is applying hollow device on pelvic side then assign the code 20662-20663 for femoral side if the physician is applying thin hollow for pediatric patient and the patient like who is suffering from hydrocephalus osteogenesis imperfecta then assign the code 20664 then if the physician is removing tongs or hollow which is applied by another individual means another physician who performed who fixed the tongs now the other physician is removing that then assign the code 20665 if the physician is removing this wire pin or rod from the skin or immediately below the skin then assign the code 20670 if the physician is removing wire pin screw metal nail rod or plate from the bone then assign the code 20680 if the physician is applying uniplane as i explained you in the previous picture so assign the code 20690 if the 
position is applying multiplane then assign the code 20692 and if the position is removing that external fixation system under anesthesia then assign the code 20694 then we have another code related to computer assisted adjustment example spatial frame which I explained you through the previous pictures if the physician is using computer program to fix the spatial frame on the defected side or factor side of patients can assign the code 20696 remember initial and subsequent alignments and any adjustments are bundled in this code if the strut is exchanged then assign the code 20697 please remember this 20697 is not coded with 20692 and 20696 and uh, thanks for watching this video please subscribe my channel like share and comment